Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today I'm making a video on my Dendrobium Chow Praia Sweet. And I'm going to show you the name. Here it is, Dendrobium Chow Praia Sweet. Now, my Dendrobium looks gigantic, but it's not really gigantic. It just looks that way because I put it really up close so you guys can see the beauty of this plant and flowers. Now this dendrobium has seven flowers. Four facing one direction and three facing this direction. Now I do have two bloom spikes and I will show you the other one in a minute just so that you can see uh, what I'm talking about in the perspective. Now I'm gonna take it and you'll see that it's not that gigantic. When I bring it back, compared to me, it's this size. So I have two spikes. This other one has also seven, but is they're facing in different directions. like that. See, what I want to point out is that compared to this other one, it does look gigantic. If you remember, I made a video uh, about two weeks ago to uh, maybe a month ago on my Dendrobium child Praia. Now, when I, if I put them side by side, you're going to see that they look similar. But compared to in size, the Chao Praia Suite is uh, bigger. So you see, the Dendrobium Chao Praia Suite is bigger. So if you haven't seen my video, on my regular Dendrobium Chow Praia. Go ahead and look it up. It will be this one. Is the Dendrobium Chow Praia. Now this one is the Dendrobium Chow Praia Suite. And um, the reason it's called Sweet is because through inline breeding, you get bigger flowers. And that's why this one has the name sweet sweet isn't it lol <laughs> sorry bad joke anyways what I want to point out is that I've had it since um, 18 so I've had it two years and it's bloomed for me last year but I didn't make a video because I didn't have I didn't make a video but I want to point out that I have it in Coconut husks. Now, coconut husk is good for many orchids. And I did make a video on cleaning coconut husks. So if you want to grow your dendrobiums in coconut husks, go ahead and watch my video on how to clean the coconut husk. Um, it's, it's very simple. So, anyways, going back to my dendrobium. I have it in a clay pot. I water it twice a week in the summer, once in the spring, once a week. And I give it San Antonio weather temperature. In the greenhouse, it goes up to 95, sometimes higher, but I have the exhaust fan, so it, it brings it back down. Um, in the winter, I protect it from the cold temperatures so the temperature would not go below 45. Now, this is a, what is referred to as a cane dendrobium, but it's not a deciduous cane dendrobium because he doesn't lose his leaves. If you notice, it, I, I have four pseudobulbs that have other green leaves. But you also see several canes, older canes, 
that do not have any leaves. And that's normal. That doesn't mean that this is a deciduous dendrobium. It just means that it lost its leaves. Now do not cut old pseudobulbs, old canes like this, because sometimes it, uh, they decide to bloom from the old pseudobulbs. If you see my other dendrobium child prior video, you'll see that one of them is uh, having the blooms coming out of the cane. So, there you go. This is my Dendrobium Chow Praia Suite. I hope you enjoyed it. I have two bloom spikes with seven flowers each for a beautiful display of 14 flowers. So, I hope you like it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.